Good morning. We're on our way to take Mickey to get his teeth cleaned. You ready to get your toothers cleaned, Mickey? You ready? He's known ever since I woke up because we got up early. We got to be there at eight. We don't usually wake up till eight. But he's known ever since we woke up early and I washed his face that he's going somewhere. <laughs> He knew he was going on a car ride and he was whining the whole time. And he was working up the other boys and getting them howling. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> this only really happens when Mickey goes somewhere because he starts whining and crying. Oh, yes, he does, especially when he gets that harness on. He just starts whining and crying and following me and going nuts. So, yes, so. We're on our way to the vet. Oh, and you're really not supposed to be on my lap, Miggy. Um, on our way to the vet to drop him off to get those two first clean. Yes, we are. So I wanted to thank Linda for the gifts she sent to Mozzie. And there was a couple other people who sent gifts on PayPal. Um, I'm gonna have to type their names on the screen. But thank you guys so much who sent um, birthday gifts for Grant. Uh, one of them sent, that sent on PayPal, sent uh, the donation for the pet pantry in Grant's name. So, thank you guys so much. Alright. Let's get this boy dropped off. Well, I finally got Mr. Grant all finished up. Show him your handsome self, Grant. Show him your handsome self. <laughs> We got his legs and paws all trimmed up. I trimmed his toenails. Grant, where are you going? Your door's shut still. He wants to go check out his house, but the door's shut. Yeah. I had to shut the door so he wouldn't hide from me when I was trying to do his face. We got his, my daughter helped me um, with getting his face washed this morning because um, my husband had to leave early for a meeting. So she helped me out after I got back from uh, dropping Miggy off to the vet. And the vet called me and told me they did x-rays and that he needed four, I believe two on each side of the top of his mouth in the back, way in the back. He had to have two on each side removed, so four teeth. And I think he had to have a couple incisors. Um he said removed here here we go look at that handsome fella look at that handsome fella there look at that handsome fella i took a new photo of him for his birthday photo yes you had to have your new birthday photo i really wanted to get it done on his birthday but hey things happen there's still a couple little hairs around the butt area that i wish i could get but you know what I'm not going to stress about it, and we'll get it later. <laughs> yeah, we'll get it later. I'm just happy everybody's done. I had to wash. After I washed his face, I washed everybody else's face. Um, because last night when they had a birthday treat for Grant's birthday, um, they woke up this morning and their beards were all hard and crusty <laughs> from, from eating the ice cream. Uh, so, the yogurt ice cream. So, we went ahead and washed everybody's face. So... Looking handsome, Grant. I sprayed doggy cologne on everybody. Yeah. Everybody's smelling nice and looking nice. Yeah, I'll go open your door now. All right, guys. I'll check back in when we uh, get the call to pick up Miggy. What are you doing over there, Max, in the curtain? What are you doing? You're trying to get in a sunspot. When it starts to become closer to spring, the sunspots here get smaller because the sun is moving more towards the backyard. In the winter time, the sunspots are all the way over to about here, and there's like six, about six sunspots throughout this uh, room out front here from the sun shining in, and they all almost all get their own little sunspot. <laughs> but now that we're getting closer to spring, thank goodness, pretty soon you won't have any sunspots out here. No, most of the sun will be in the backyard, but then you'll be happy because you'll be outside playing. Yes. 
They'll be excited to be in the backyard. All right, I'm going to go open the door for Grant so he can go in his house. All right, we got Miggy picked up. Miggy, poor baby. Oh, poor baby. Yeah, you poor baby. You don't know what happened. Poor baby. Oh, He had to have seven teeth pulled out. Yes. Seven teeth pulled out. Miggy has had a lot of teeth pulled out. Um, he, how old is he going to be this year? Nine? I think he's going to be nine this year. Um, just some, especially in small breeds, some dogs just have uh, bad luck with a dental disease. Um, uh, the doctor told me that most Yorkies don't have any teeth left by the time they're nine years old. Um, and unfortunately, Miggy is one of those unfortunate ones that's had to have a lot of teeth pulled. Yes, poor baby. Poor baby. Let's go home so you can go to sleep and sleep that anesthesia off. Yes, let's go home. Everybody's wondering where Mickey's been. I said, where have you been, Miggy? Where were you? <laughs> where were you at, Miggy? We got to sniff you up and down. Yes. They're glad you're home, Miggy. Yeah, your brothers are so happy to see you. All right, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Yes, I have a bunch of pasta here. It was on it was on sale. Oh, Grinch, careful. Yeah, they're gonna <laughs> come here, Miggy. Oh baby. Oh baby. Yes. Oh baby. He's got a like some staining up in here and his eyes something they put on there, I don't know. Yes, you poor baby. Okay, guys, let Miggy have some space. Let Miggy have some space. Everybody go poo poo. Get squirrel squirrels. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to say goodbye here. Um, boys need to do their business, and I need to pick up their business. <laughs> and I got to go get some uh, soft food I bought for him. Uh, the prescription food he eats. I got to get it out of the car. Oh, yeah, the receipt's out there, too. I was going to show you guys how much it costs to get his dental. So let me go get that stuff after they go to the po after they go potty, and then um, I'll be right back. Grant. <laughs> Everybody likes watching Grant run, so we'll videotape him. He says, come on, Mom. Oh, <laughs> going back down. Or he's doing another circle. I don't know. Another circle. <laughs> All right, let me go get that stuff out of my car. All right, here's the, um, I hope I'm not showing any personal information. I don't think I am. I think I have it covered. Um, here's the bill. Oh, hold on, my shadow. <laughs> my shadow, here's the bill for Miggy. In case you wanna know what they did. And the total came to 924, 924.05. I don't know what they're barking at. Probably somebody walking by. Um, on that bill, I was also I also bought the um, urinary food. This isn't the moderate calorie. The dry food I give him. Hold on, guys. Let me go see what they're barking at. You're just gonna sit there, Miggy. I'm gonna. Um, lay down with him on my bed in a little bit here. What are you guys? It's just somebody walking. It's just somebody walking, minding their own business. Oh my goodness. Oh, stop it, Milo. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, um, the dry food I buy him is, is by Royal Canaan. It's urinary SO. But it's the moderate calorie because it's um, lower fat than this one in the dry food. But this is fine. I looked at the fat content. Usually canned food, the fat con can content, I can't speak, 
Usually the fat content is lower than the dry food. I don't know why. So I just bought six cans and these were, I think, $5 each. I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, like 30 bucks for six cans. That's just, I mean, I know the dry food I get them is uh, expensive too, but canned food, wow. I just can't believe it. Um, so I figure I'll give that to him for a couple days because he does have sutures in his mouth where the uh, big back uh, molars up top were taken out. So, um, so I thought I'd give him this and then I can always, uh, soften up his dry food with warm water, um, after. So I, if I had to feed my dog canned prescription food, I don't, especially with seven dogs, <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. I wouldn't be able to afford it. Um, and then I also have some pain meds he came home with. I got to give him one tonight at eight. He takes it twice a day for, I think she said there's five days worth in here. So also got him pain meds. So yeah. Yeah. I bought a bunch of pasta because I don't know if you guys, I don't know if where you live, if your pasta aisle has been very sparse with pasta. So it was on sale 10 for 10. These two were, were on sale 10 for 10, so a dollar each at Kroger. And then the wide egg noodles were on sale for $1.39. Now I have some because as you know, I've been building up my pantry to hopefully have a, a supply of food for at least four months. Um, if something happens, I at least have enough food to feed my family for four months. I probably have a little more than that. Um, but, and from what's going on in the world right now, I hear that food prices are going to continue to go up, just like the gas prices. I don't know what gas... Uh, look at Nikki. He's out of it. He's out of it. Okay, I'm going to finish, hurry up and finish this up so I can go lay down with him on my bed. Um, gas prices here right now are three eighty nine a gallon. I don't know what it's like in your neck of the woods, but it's went up almost 50 cents in a week and a half. So, and I hear green prices are going to be going up. So, I'm stocking up on my pasta. <laughs> We're buying um, half a hog here soon. Um, we already have, we bought a quarter of a cow this past, was it November? So, we have plenty of beef in the freezer. Um, yeah, getting in the half a cow we're getting is going to be a really good deal. Um, with the way meat prices are right now, we're getting a really good deal. It's a client of my husband's, um, somebody sold the house too, I believe, or he sold their house. I can't remember, but, um, yeah, just getting it. What well, get it while the prices are cheap because they're just going to keep going up. So if you find a great sale, stock up. I think he, look at him. You want to go to sleep with mama on the bed? Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm wrapping it up here. We're going to go lay down and, and take a nap together. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. We're all laying here relaxing in bed. Nikki's finally stopped shaking. He shakes and um, whines a little when he's been under anesthesia. Yeah. I've got the um, heated blanket on. So he can be toasty. Yeah. Poor baby. Um, Milo and Magnum. Up here, I think. Yep, there's Mozzie down there in a dog bed on the bench. <laughs> Grant's in his house snoring. <laughs> um, but I wanted to jump back on. And uh, I was thinking about it. And I want to tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys um, watching our videos. Um it really helps uh the the ad uh from playing ads on the videos the videos being monetized it really helps um to be able to put money towards getting dental done and anything i need for the boys it's not a lot um but i just want to tell you guys how much i appreciate you guys watching our videos and um yeah i just wanted to I just I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I also wanted to, in case I didn't type the names on the screen, like I said I was going to this morning when I was dropping Miggy off, I wanted to say thank you to Connor, 
and Kelly. Uh, Kelly is the one who sent a donation to the pet pantry in Mr. Grant's name. Um, thank you. And Connor sent Mr. Grant a birthday gift on PayPal as well. So, and I also want to say thank you to Turid who had, because I don't know if I mentioned it in a video, I sent a message and he, and, um, I got a message back, but thank you so much for the birthday gift you sent me on PayPal. So, and, um, and I think I already said Linda, she sent Mr. Grant and Max, uh, a birthday card and gift. So thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for caring about my boys and myself, um, the way you do. So, all right, guys. I'm going to lay here. I think I'm going to take a nap too. <laughs> Bye. I'm back. I always end the videos and I always have to come back. <laughs> Got a, a package on the doorstep and it was from Emily. She sent Mr. Grant a birthday card. So seriously, you're expecting me to sleep in that basket? <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Uh, sent him a birthday card, a gift inside to buy some special treats and to share with his brothers. And she sent Mr. Grant this cute, cute Snoopy blankie. So thank you so much, Emily. Just wanted to get on and share since I got that after I finished the video. Thanks so much. All right, we got to let Milo out. <laughs> you must have saw a squirrel. <laughs> Bye, guys.